Hi guys, uh, welcome to another video on Improve Your Excel. Today I am presenting you Dynamic Appointment Scheduler and Calendar Monthly View uh, with the Google Sheets version. We have a similar template in Microsoft Excel, but I have uh, developed this one in Google Sheets. We have similar tabs, validations, uh, the data tab, and the last tab is a monthly view. We have user form here. We can add uh, data here and we'll submit it. Once we submit this data, all right, the data will be added uh, into the last row. Right, so what the script will do, script will uh, add a new row uh, in this sheet. So let's see how it works. All right, we have validations. Mm, I have uh, uh, multiple departments here, like HR, sales, uh, news stories, digital. You can add uh, according to your needs and the uh, all. Right, so whenever you add anything here do not remove the all right because uh, this all uh, value is attached here okay when you will press all so you will be able to see uh, you will be able to view all of your data uh, that you have saved in the scheduler sheet uh, will be popped in this calendar form right so do not uh, delete this let me add this in the beginning right all right so next we have years here uh, you can add uh, years multiple years like 30 uh, 2032 2033 right so you can see them here and I'm going to remove them those we have added mm. okay now you can see that all right so I think uh, we are good we are good with this one and let's move on to the scheduler tab all right in the scheduler tab we have uh, multiple columns here we have a uh, index we have date time all right uh, there is one uh, two columns hidden that I have hided them just I what I have used in them uh, all right I think the formula tab is uh, can be seen so what I'm going to do this we have uh, added uh, uh, two columns here uh, to merge the date and time now the title and the department here okay, so I just hide them because we don't need them all right we just need to uh, take data from them into the monthly view uh, calendar sheet right so I have added all of this data here okay let me add a uh, data uh, through the user form here so we can see that how it works right so let's select the date we are going to select the today's date uh, time I'm going to select it 5 55 p.m. okay the title uh, you can write uh, any title uh, that suits you but now I'm going to write uh, meeting agenda. agenda. All right. Okay. I'm going to paste him here and the department here so this field uh, is actually uh, being used here uh, to filter the data right I have not uh, used this field in Microsoft Excel template 
but I have created uh, this field uh, in Google Sheets alright so I will show you that uh, why we are using uh, the department here so I'm going to use up here like uh, accounts new department okay so we have all the data so now I'm going to press submit you will be able to see that so we have a new entry here all right method of August 5 5 p.m. meeting agenda meeting agenda accounts all right so let's see that are we going to get this here okay let me see the month of August Okay, this all right so we have uh, this here meeting agenda now you can see so I have added a table on the right side of the calendar uh, in this table you will be able to see your meeting date and time your title and the notes all right so whenever you will click on any of the value you will be uh, redirect to the a scheduler sheet where you have uh, input this data right okay so it takes me to the last row because the recent data we have added uh, actually in the last row so okay so you can change the dates by clicking on the dates right you can see in this tab the date is uh, changing here okay so I'm going to show you the data we have a lot of data we have in the month of January and in the month of uh, February all right so that is the department uh, filter here all right so when I'll click on the sales so it will uh, the calendar will me the calendar will show only the data with the sales right if I click on the marketing so we'd have uh, data with the marketing let's click on this date the Feb uh, 2023 okay so we have a Magnolia Park here let's click on this and you can see that Magnolia Park right right if I want to see the data for all the departments then I'll click on the all so so the purpose of creating uh, this calendar is we cannot see the all of the data in a calendar view but when you will click on the date so you will be able to view your data on the uh, on the right side uh, on the right side of the table okay so you have time title notes you can change the dates you can change the months right so you can save data uh, for a couple of years all right so yep the I think uh, this is the whole uh, overview that I have given you uh, for this video for this Microsoft for this Google Sheets template also thank you for your time Take care. Bye.